Yellowstone eruption steamboat geyser shatters eruption records in this month. Month of activity, Tom Fish, Express UK reports, it was expected. We've had over 25 eruptions, some of them being only three days apart. Yellowstone has been rocked by a record number of eruptions at one of its most seismic active features, a steamboat geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin. Yellowstone National Park, the recreational area like no other, packed with a large number of thermal features like hot springs, mud pots, geysers, over 10,000 of them. The U.S. Geological Survey carefully monitors these features, as Yellowstone is also a supervolcano. With an incredibly violent history, these are fairly reliable indicators of seismic activity, and it appears Yellowstone's famed steamboat geyser, which is the tallest active geyser in the world, is about to smash its annual record of eruptions. We know that also super, the supervolcano of Yellowstone has over 60% of the world's geysers there. Steamboat geyser is capable of blasting jets, boiling water, over 300 feet high, 91 meters into the air. The USGS officials announced that June has been Steamboat Geyser's most active month ever. The geyser is on track to smash the annual eruption record set in 2008 of 32. The previous record was 29, set back in 1964. USGS revealed during the month seven water eruptions occurred June 1st, 7, 12, 15, 19, 23, and 28, bringing the total number of eruptions for the year to 25. At this rate, they said, the record annual record for eruptions 32 set last year will fall this summer. And there has been an additional indication of renewed activity inside the volcano, hidden beneath Yellowstone. June witnessed another record, broken for the shortest time ever recorded between two steamboat eruptions. The eruptions were separated by just three days, three hours, and 48 minutes. USGS researchers have been monitoring steamboat geysers using the network of 51 seismometers to record information about its activity. Unfortunately, the temperature monitor that they put up on May 19 only worked for about a week, and it went offline on May 26th and they still don't have a temperature monitor there. Although Steamboat has been more active than expected since March of last year, the thermal feature has also experienced recent periods of calm. There were, for example, no significant eruptions between October 91 and May 2000, according to USGS data. When Steamboat Geyser does erupt, its powerful water jets can fire up for 40 minutes. These are then followed by powerful discharges of steam, which can last for more than 24 hours and each up to 650 feet in height, 200 meters tall. Although large eruptions are in, infrequent, minor ones between 10 feet and 15 feet are common. Unlike Yellowstone's other famous geysers like Old Faithful, which is highly predictable, Steamboat's major eruptions are much more difficult to forecast. Despite recent activity indicating intervals between significant eruptions can be relatively short, Steamboat has, in fact, gone up to half a century without erupting. That was between 1911 and 1961. USGS said in a statement, This data will be a terrific complement to last year's May to June deployment and should teach scientists quite a lot about Steamboat's activity patterns and the plumbing system. Yellowstone, as we know, is home to the enormous array of over 10,000 hydrothermal features, such as mud pots, fumaroles, and hot springs. And this includes more than 500 geysers, which is about 50 to 60 percent of the total, world's total geysers. Geyser, is, geysers erupt when the hot rocks below the Earth's surface in the area of the volcano actively heat the water in underground reservoirs. And when the water becomes superheated, it rapidly expands, blasting its way to the surface through these cracks and fissures in the ground that we know as geysers.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.